Good morning. Today is the feast of the baptism of the Lord. Our Mass today is being offered for Robert C. Wilkinson. This week's second collection will be for the building fund. Help is needed to take down and store the Christmas decorations next Saturday, January 16th, from 8.30 till noon. We hope you can join us. Parochial school begins on Monday at 6 p.m. for potato peeling and Wednesday at 9 a.m. for pitching pierogies. 2021 calendars are available in the rectory and some are on the table in the back of church. We also have a gift of, to the St. Clair parishioners as a lanyard for your keys um, that is also available. Please join with our brothers and sisters from our neighboring churches of St. Clair on Sunday, January 17th at 2 p.m. here in our church. We will pray for the unity of all Christians. Pastor Jack Murray will deliver the sermon, and that is at 2 p.m. on the 17th. The weekend and daily lecture schedules for January are available by mail, email, in the sacristy and on the parish website. If you do not have your email address, please contact the rectory during business hours. Please take a poinsettia or two after mass today, but leave behind the water pitchers. Thank you. And to those who stay after Sunday masses each week to sanitize the pews, please just spray all surfaces. Do not wipe dry. It is better sanitations if they dry air dry. Please pray with me the prayer of St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and sins of the devil. May God forgive you, not in prayer, and do thou, Lord, and send heavenly hosts. For the power of God, the past is the devil of Satan, and all the evil spirits, proud of God, the world, and seek the world of souls. Our hymn is number 372. In number 372, when Jesus comes to be baptized, please rise and read the bottom bill.
God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. So shall my word be 
that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, proclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for greatness in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world, and the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world? but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies, and the Spirit is truth. So there are three that testify, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and the three are of one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now the testimony of God is this, that he has testified on behalf of his Son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The central theme of my homilies 
focus on different aspects of the Christmas tree in regarding our faith. And today as we gather to celebrate this, the feast of the baptism of the Lord, will be the last time this year that you will see these trees until next December. We pack the Christmas trees away. And I would hope that many of you might be able to come and help us pack them away next Saturday morning. I'm very hesitant though this year about packing the Christmas decorations. Not only here in church, but in the rectory, in my room. Because the tree has given us a tremendous sense of hope during some very difficult times. <clears throat> but just because we pack it away does not mean that the hope, the joy, the mercy of God are forgotten about. And today as we celebrate this, the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord, Jesus' public ministry begins. We all get enraptured with the miracles that Jesus performed. The raising of the dead, the curing of the illness, the multiplication of the loaves and the fish. But the heart of Jesus' mission was to preach and to teach the salvation of God. Not something that we need to constantly have before our eyes physically tangible, but something that we carry in our hearts and something that when we need to dig deep, we know it is there. This is the Word becoming flesh within you and me.
4% in our county just since the end of December. 24%. Luzerne County in Northeast Pennsylvania was always the hotbed. Schuylkill County, the last three weeks, has surpassed the number of confirmed COVID cases <laughs> in Northeast Pennsylvania. And it's all because we want to have it our way. Nobody's going to tell me what to do. It's the selfishness. that Jesus preached against. The good news of loving our neighbor as ourself for the reason why he died. Because selfish people just stuff their ears. This past Wednesday, once again we witnessed Another horror. Something we never ever thought we'd see. And the news media is like sharks on a feeding frenzy right now because they demand responsibility. And yes, responsibility is important. And yes, the great Thomas More, who fought against Henry VIII in England, that's just his battle. We need to be responsible for our actions. But you know what? In our cry for responsibility, we also look for who to blame. Yes, Donald Trump is a big part of it, for who's to blame. Yes, these white supremacy movements and anarchists and all these other lunatics. They're to blame. But so is Congress. Because they're not Congress anymore. They're not representing us. Because it's all so partisan. Congress is a place to debate and discuss and find compromise. And it's not there. So what's in you? What makes you different? I pray it's the baptism of the Lord. The baptism of the Lord, not just with John baptizing Jesus in the Jordan, but the day each and every one of us was carried into the church in our mothers of Godmother's arms and taken to the font. We were baptized into Christ Jesus. What does that mean? Make sure you read from the pastor's desk in the bulletin this week. What does it mean? Sometimes we don't take our faith very seriously. We baptize to keep mom and dad off our backs because the kid hasn't been baptized. We baptize because we want a party. We baptize because there's going to be gifts. We baptize because we don't know why, but we think we have to. Because it's the Catholic thing to do, even though I haven't darkened the doors of the church and I don't know when. Does that sound like being baptized into Christ? Does that sound like putting on Christ? St. Paul says, imitate me as I imitate. Christ. St. Paul at times was rude, he was crude, he was rough. He was a sinner. 
He murdered Christians. But then he allowed the Word of God to become flesh in his heart. And his life changed. And he said, even though I'm a sinner and not a perfect person, I want to try and imitate Christ to you. So on this feast of the baptism of the Lord, how well do you strive to imitate Christ? How good of a Catholic Christian are you? I'm not saying perfect, how good? Because in all of our lives, there's room for improvement. We can all be much better at what we do. Jesus' baptism was to prove a point. The point that he wanted to make to John the Baptist and the world is that he comes from the Father for our salvation. Jesus says the Father and I are one. It's not the selfishness that we live in today. And it's not all the challenges and the disease and the controversies that we encounter. We can overcome that when we truly take our baptism seriously and become Christ for others. Just would like to reaffirm a couple quick announcements that Mary would made to us. I've already said about next Saturday, we'll take down the decorations, and I hope that enough of you will come out and help us do that. We're going to begin with our Lenten fundraiser, making pierogies on Monday with the peeling of potatoes, and on Wednesday with the actual pinching of the pierogies. It's a scary time to be doing these things. We're taking every precaution that we can that everyone will be socially distant in their workstations. We have a disinfector which we'll use. But most importantly that, you know, we need you and we hope you come out. And we also ask that you make sure that you're healthy when you come. Also next Sunday is, begins the week of Christian unity. It's never been done here before, but I think it's important that we try to put some of our differences aside, especially with our Protestant brothers and sisters, and at least get to know them and to understand them a little bit. So at 2 p.m. next Sunday, we'll have a brief prayer service here in our church so that we can be socially distant. All the churches of St. Clair have been invited and Pastor Jack Murray of the Wade Methodist Church down the street will deliver a message for us. So these are just some of the things that we have going on. But most especially, as I said, we need to realize that we're God's beloved sons and daughters. And may all our actions reflect Christ. I believe in one God, maker of heaven and earth, of all is visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this day the heavens were opened as the Spirit descended upon Christ at his baptism. In prayer we ask the Father to unseal the fountain of his blessings upon the world. For the church, like her, Lord, the beloved of the Father, that his favor may always rest upon her, and his spirit overshadow her with truth and power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those entrusted with the work of the government, that they may serve the cause of right and, and strive to establish true justice on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have become lukewarm in their faith, that the spirit given in their baptism will, will rekindle faith and love in their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves and our community, that we may eagerly follow Christ's call at our baptism and establish true justice on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick bereaved and any special intentions or events, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the departed whose memory we recall, that the power of God's grace may bring them to the fullness of glory, especially Robert Wopinski, for whom this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, by our baptism you adopted us as your sons and daughters. Hear our prayers through that favor which rests on your beloved Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Arguments number 611, let all mortal flesh be silent. Hymn number 611. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere, give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan you revealed the signs and wonders of new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the Spirit descending into the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim.
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. For 
those who pray and grant peace. May your precious blood be our defense and salvation. By your grace we you turn the evil of disease into moments of consolation and hope. May we always fear the contagion of sin more than any illness. We abandon ourselves and we pray in mercy. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Have a nice weekend, everyone. And if you'd like to take a poinsettia home, feel free.